I recently heard a joke about Albert Einstein which went a little something like this. As legend has it, Albert Einstein died and he met three men outside the pearly gates. Always wanted to strike up a conversation, um, Albert asked each man about their IQ. The first man said, well Albert, my IQ is a high 190. Einstein was really excited and he said, you know, me and you can discuss the theory of relativity. The second man said, Albert, my IQ is only 150. Einstein said, well, that's still great. We can discuss global warming. The third man said, Albert, I'm really sorry. My IQ is only 100. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to discuss much with you. Unfazed, Einstein looked at him and said, that is not a problem at all. Where do you think the market is going? And, as the title of this video states, it's that time of year again. Everywhere you look, the financial media, uh, whether it be magazines or TV, someone is making a prediction of what the economy or the stock market will do in 2012. I actually enjoy this and read many of these predictions, which have proven to be useless time and time again. Uh, so, in order to keep with the rest of the financial crowd, I will too attempt to make the following predictions for 2012. Number one is markets will continue to go up and markets will continue to go down. Some days the market will be up a lot and some days the market will go down a lot. Number two is the financial media and other financial planners will continue to believe that they know the reason for each market move and that they know or, or they have the perfect investment that will cover every situation. And last, but certainly not least, Jim Cramer will continue to scream and predict things wrong, but lead you to believe that he knows exactly what he's doing. Well, I hope you understand that I'm being a little bit facetious, but the truth is that trying to pick hot sectors, hot stocks, or hot tips has always proved to be a fool's game. Market timing generally ends badly for most, and it's proven that success is based on luck rather than skill. Remember, <clears throat> if there is someone who actually knew with certainty which stocks to pick, why would he have a reason to tell you? So what should you really be doing in 2012? Well, in 2012 you should resolve to take a long and realistic view of your financial situation. You need to stop chasing fantasies, folks. You are not going to get what you want by beating markets or picking the world's most perfect investment or designing the perfect bulletproof financial plan. In fact, when you try to do all these, we get into real trouble. Number two is that you definitely need to sit down and hire a professional certified financial planner who works on a fee. The financial planning land landscape isn't getting any less complicated. While this may seem like obviously a self-serving comment because I am a certified financial planner who works on a fee, um, you need to ask yourself how are you doing? Do you know how much uh, money you need that will ensure a comfortable retirement? Or maybe do your investments match your goals about you and your risk tolerance? Or will you run out of money before you run out of life? Okay. Let's also resolve to work at making decisions that make sense. Understand that no one can control the markets and no one can control the economy. But our behavior and how we react is up to us. So my best prediction for those um, who, uh, for those now in 2012 is that you wrap, that you resolve and, 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 and wrap your arms around your overall financial situation. Um, and end the year feeling that you are in control of your financial future no matter what the year brings in terms of market gains or market losses. See you next time on Financial QB TV and let's have a great 2012.